Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and this is the brand new updated Stonewood questline. Um, if you have seen any of the previous Stonewood questline missions, um, now I have done all missions all the way up to Candy Valley, but if you did see any of the original Stonewood ones, then some of them weren't to the best of quality as I was new to um, YouTubing and Save the World at the time. So I am redoing all of the videos. If you are new around here though then thank you very much for stopping by don't forget to click that like down below smash that subscribe before you go and if you turn on the notification bell then you will always get updated of all my content when it comes out if you do buy anything in the item store then please consider using code riverfox as it will help me out a great deal and if you want to keep up to date on all the information relating to the channel then do check out my discord and twitter accounts the links for those will be in the description down below but but this is uh, Stonewood mission number four, which is our home base storm shield defense number two. So we are going to get straight in there now and let us get this storm shield defended. Okay, now um, with any of my storm shields, um, I have always tried to do them in such a way uh, that you can pretty much get um, all of your trap tunnels doing all of the work. So um, I'm going to go and get um, this set up. Now, um, what I tend to do with these videos, I will do two videos, one which will show you the actual um, setup and layout of the trap tunnels, and then the second video will be the actual defense. So as uh, Ray said, they will come either from the east or the West. Now, generally, um, they always seem to pretty much come up from the East, but they can sometimes come from that West side as well. So we're going to set up this East side first. Now, it is always a good idea to build anything that you can in metal, especially in your storm shields, um, because metal will um, have the strongest uh, sort of strength uh, power to it so it'll take more for the husks to destroy any metal than it would if you placed in wood or stone so um, let's see so they will come from around about um, this point down here they will come down here so there are a few directions they can come up now for your first actual defense um, you don't need anything massive um, to um, to sort of protect it so what we are going to do we are going to just put in something here just to prevent them from going um, down that side so if they do come up from here then we want to try and force them around this way I know we've got these um, sort of green uh, boxes here to sort of show you where they expect you to place them but you don't have to place them there so we are going to box that there um, leave this piece open so they can actually get into it and let's see and over this side then we're going to do some defenses here now we can we can put a lower wall in. Now, if you're not sure about the different builds, um, again, I will do a different video for that. But actually, let's... It's slightly different than what I did it last time. I'm going to do that one so that it will make them come in through this direction. Um, this bit over here, that's that's okay like that. So what we basically want to try and do is make them come in a straight line. Um, we're going to get them to come in this direction, come in a straight line down here. So what we can do for the time being... If we put these in like this, then this will force them in that one direction, but we can still put our traps on it. Um, so for that is pretty okay. We're going to put them in there like that. So we've got some ceiling pieces. So that is that one. And then over this side, um, we can do pretty much the same thing 
if we put all that down like so okay and then we'll have our ceiling pieces like that and on this side i'm going to put them in full because they're not going to come any other direction in there i'm leaving these open like this this time because i want to be able to sort of climb through it or, or go through it if i need to quickly get round to the other side so uh, that is is a basic straight trap tunnel which for your first defense should probably do more than sufficient so um it's it's make some traps first okay so i've got some traps made up now initially you will have to go with whatever traps you have actually got because when you do first start um you will get some some llamas uh, sometimes you get some free llamas and things and you will get some traps and schematics from those um but it's random which ones you will get and you won't always get um you know decent decent um traps from it so let's have a look now what we will do here which is literally just to block them off so they're not going to go through that now normally i would say not to do anything more than three tiles wide because if you do three tiles wide then they will come um, anything over that they will come up to it and they will start bashing against the either the third or fourth tile um, but we should be okay on this first one um, now we will put a wall launchers on here which will fling them down and i mean that should be that should be sufficient to be honest that will do there okay so we've got our, our retractable spikes here now on the insides of these we can put our um, wall dynamos like so okay that will do that will do along that bit i'm not going to do it all the way up to the end because i don't have that many um and we will put these up here, which, I mean, this probably will be way too much, way too much overkill. But I just want to make sure that it is set up for future storm shields as well. So we can put them in there. Okay, so that is that. And now gas traps, if you can get gas traps, they are by far the best ceiling trap. They always have been. So that will do for that side. Now, they could come from over here as well. So we need to set something basic up along here. Now, we can't place in that spot, but we can place here. And let's, yeah, let's put one in there. Like so. And put them down. Okay. So, what this will do then, again, this is going to channel them in to the direction that we want. Now, we want to try and make them uh, sort of go, you know, as far around as possible. So, if we put, put all that in there, put that there um now nah, i don't need to worry about that side that's fine um but we can then put in that um actually i'm gonna put that in there yeah i'm gonna put yeah i'm gonna put that in there because what we'll do then we're gonna put our wall launcher on that bit we're also gonna put a wall launcher on there and on there so when they come up they will get pushed back down Okay, um, we don't need any war launchers anywhere else. Uh, no, that's fine. We're going to concentrate on slowing them down over here, I think. So if we put some slow ones down. That one. Let's put that one down. And we'll have a wall dart on there. So that will slow them down as they are coming up. 
Now we're going to put in the retractables over here. Like that. And a flame grill. They're always good. And of course, as I said, you make the most of whatever traps you have got. If you haven't got loads of traps, um, you know, to be able to place, then, you know, just make do with what you, you actually have got there. Uh, we've got some level ones there, but I don't, I don't really want to use those. Um, so we can put our ceiling pieces up on here. And we can put some more of these. I'm going to save my gas traps for later, I think. And we'll put some on here as well. I mean, that is, that should pretty much do, I think, most of what we want it to, um, to do, to be honest. Um, for our first defense, um, that should be more than sufficient. So, that should be... For our first defense of our storm shield, that should be more than enough. Um, I'm not even going to bother at the moment building anything extra around this. Um, I don't think there's any chance that they're going to get into that at all. So that will be the first build. I hope that you do find this um, useful. If you do, don't forget to drop that like down below. Smash that subscribe before you go. And if you turn on the notification bell, then you will always get updated of all my content when it comes out. But make sure to check back um, for the actual defense of this video. And um, yes, I will see you again soon. Till then, I hope you have a lovely day. And stay safe, my friends.